Now they're mannequins. Up. Hello everybody, welcome to today's video. I am in Lisbon, Portugal. Uh, it's my first day here, my first time, and I am so excited because this city is so beautiful. There's so much to see, so much to do, so much to experience, so much culture to experience. I am by the water because uh, the Airbnb that I'm staying at is literally a 10 minute walk to the water. And I had to go through a maze to get here to like the hood of Lisbon, but it was just so beautiful because the buildings are so old, like nothing's renovated. So you feel like you're back in like the 70s, the 80s. And I'm just so excited to be here. And today I just want to show you the beauty that is Lisbon. Portugal is located in the Iberian Peninsula of southwestern Europe. It has the oldest border in Europe and its capital Lisbon is a colorful paradise full of hills, friendly people and delicious wine and food. to get to the water but well, we seem to be getting lost but I think we found our way it's like it's just a, I was just saying that everything in the buildings are so colorful right it makes you feel happy yeah goodbye Lisbon is a happy city it's fucking happy You have to definitely be patient to live here because you know in New York they would have like you know like stayed on their horn. Is that a horn? Oh my yes. I love it. Oh that's close. Got it. Okay, let me look at my uh, oh shit. I stayed in the neighborhood of Alfama, a beautiful old part of town with very narrow streets and many cheap local restaurants with delicious food. Unfortunately for me, Alfama was located on top of a hill. It feels oh, like summer way? and Lisbon. I feel the water. Could you go this way? Oh. Maybe down this way? Let me look at my map. It looks like it's coming from this way. So this way? Okay, we're trying to find the water. It's just really hard. Because I can't tell where the street signs are. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that, how narrow this is. This is a street right there. Look how narrow that is. This is that's a street. See, this is the street. Where am I? Right here. This is the street. <laughs> oh my god. We're in a literal maze. Okay. Oh, 
look at this. It's a ship. What color? It's here. It's here. I see a ship. <laughs> we found it. I think this is a cruise ship right in front of me. It's all the way over there. That's a whole lot of Oh, well, you know, we walked through the culture of Lisbon. We sure did. It was nice. <laughs> Literally. Oh, this is so cute though. Yeah. Oh, uh, look at this ship. That's a massive ship. That's huge. Is it a cruise ship or what? Yeah, it's a cruise ship. Oh, uh, we, made, we made it to the water. We made it to the water. We got through a maze, but we made it through the water. Not through the water, we made it to the water. Because we were walking through a maze through the hoods of Lisbon. Oh, but it was worth it. It was a great experience. I don't know. To cross the street somewhere. Okay. Oh, we're crossing here. Let's cross here. Like... I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I spent five days in Lisbon and I was so not prepared for this city's many hills. It felt like the city was built on a mountain, but I learned that it was actually built on top of seven hills. Every time I got directions on Google, every street I had to turn into was just stairs. And I even come to the stairs one time for one particular street and it was 215 stairs, which is about 12 floors. Although Lisbon is very walkable, if you want to avoid the hills and you know your way around the city, you can find elevators and escalators that can bring you up to the top of the city. But that's only if you know where to find them. But we did not let the stairs scare us away from enjoying the beauty that is Lisbon. Lisbon is a beautiful city with all colonial architecture that feels like you're traveling back in time. Our central trip is over and now I'm at this beautiful rooftop bar with views of the whole city. It is so peaceful here in Portugal. It's only 8 a.m. right now. I'm walking to a tour of the city. And there's barely anyone outside. It is Monday too, so maybe people are just going to work or school. I don't know. Wait till I get to the... I want to see, I don't know how to take those little trolleys. I want to take one, but today's my last day to do it. But I don't know how they work or if I have to like go to a stop or something. I'm on my way to a walking tour and this is my third tour this um this trip and i am so tired because yesterday i spent the whole day in sintra and we're just walking up and down the hills and the day before we i did a, a food tour and that was all over lisbon and lisbon is full of hills full of stairs so we're just going up and down the stairs mostly up so my body hurts <laughs> and this one's four hours of more walking but this is a tour about African culture and the influence that it had on Lis I mean on Portugal and the Portuguese culture. So this is gonna be more of an educational tour. So I'm excited for that. Uh, but all this walking, all this going up and down the stairs. Why are there so many stairs in Lisbon? Who designed this city? Huh? 
There was so much to love about Lisbon and one of the things that I loved about Portugal was that every restaurant that I went to and I ordered orange juice, the orange juice was freshly squeezed and I swear every time I had it, it was just delicious. To end the tour, we're going to a Cape Verdean, Cape Verdean restaurant here in Portugal. all authentic Cape Verdean food and I've never had Cape Verdean food so I'm really excited to try it. To start off lunch, we had Cape Verdean liqueur. It was sort of like a punch in a bottle. There was a mango flavor and a coconut flavor. I like the mango better, but this is really creamy. But it's good. I actually like it. For lunch, I had cachupa, which is a rich stew mixed with beans, seasoned meats, and vegetables. It is referred to as the national dish of the Cape Verde Islands. Everyone makes it different, and the restaurant had a special cachupa, which is what I ordered. I did figure out how to take the local tram up the hill, which is the iconic vintage electric train that rides all over Lisbon. It's a must-do activity to experience while you're there. To Castle de Saint George. I took the tram up here because I was trying to avoid all these stairs and hills. But here we are. Here we are again. More hills. And I'm running out of breath. <sighs> I guess this is the exercise that I haven't done all for the last week or so. de San George. It is the highest point of Lisbon and you can see the whole city 
the views are amazing and it is so hot right now it's like 100 degrees i did not prepare for this weather i thought it was spring here but apparently it's summer already i don't know if you can see i'm like sweating <sighs> i'm going to explore through the grounds and see what's up here besides the views let's go <sighs> I, I, oh wow there's a bridge here that looks like the bridge from San Francisco look at this view <sighs> see that's the bridge over there Lisbon. absolutely amazing I am in love with this city it is so beautiful so colorful it just makes you feel so happy to be here and the weather is so nice it is a little hot today but it's been beautiful all these few days that I've been here the people are amazing and the food is delicious this has been officially my favorite vacation that I've had and this and Lisbon has become my favorite city so far it used to be Havana well, Havana has gone to second place second place now because Lisbon has taken the number one spot so thank you so much for watching I hope you enjoy this Lisbon video seeing Lisbon through my eyes um, make sure to subscribe and like this video and until next time bye